Anyway, the employee community fund of Boeing sponsored this program in the past for numerous years. We are very proud to be part of this program and looking at the artwork out there, I am simply amazed. I remember when I was 10 and I entered into an art contest and I got just recommended or and uh, my mom took that and put that in the frame and put it on the wall. And everybody that came in our house had to see that picture and it stayed there until the day she died. So anyway, this art that these kids are, did is just simply amazing. And I'm blown away by what they have produced from listening to music. So anyway, thank you kids. <laughs>
some of the artwork submitted by the teachers was from kindergarten students. Therefore, seven of the top 100 awards are given to kindergarten students. And then we follow that same formula for all of the grades. The artwork created by these 100 finalists is displayed tonight in the foyer, and I know many of you were looking at it. It really is exceptional. Starting tomorrow, this artwork will be exhibited at Bob Crowley, Magic House, the Schlafly Branch of the St. Louis Public Library, and St. Peter's Cultural Arts Center. Details and dates for the exhibit sites are listed in your program. And I hope you'll be able to see the display at one of these sites. Now, in May, after the artwork exhibit concludes, then the artwork will be returned to the teachers for their student artists. So please do not take any of the free artwork tonight because we really do need it to be on display. Before we move on to the awards, I want to recognize and give appreciation to the teachers who choose to participate in fiction and music. It is the teachers who breathe life into this program by including it in their curriculum. And often it is a collaborative effort between the music teachers and the art teachers. So would any teachers and school administrators who are in the audience please stand so we may recognize you. Right here on the stage of Pop Hall, 
week after week after week and play some marvelous music. What instruments sit right here? What do you think? Anybody? It starts with a C and rhymes with Jello. Jello is right. Very good. instruments uh, do you think sit in this general area? These are not strings, but what? Who's going to guess? Yeah. Not uh, brass. We'll get that in just a minute. What other types of instruments are not strings and not brass? Are what? Now, not bass. Forgot about the double basses. Don't want to forget about them. Yes. The trumpet. We're going to come back to the brass so we get them out of our way. Yes? Yeah, I'm either the woodwind or the brass. Woodwind sit in this area, brass sit in this area, percussion in the very back, and, the ver and way back here by these folks sit the bass. You sound like a bass. Let me hear your bass note. No, no bass note. Okay. Here's the point. For 140 years, people have been sitting in these very seats or seats just like them, and they have been inspiring all these people in this beautiful place that we call what? Powell Hall, right? Thank you. This beautiful place called Powell Hall. These people have sat in your very chair and have inspired all of us who sit in the audience. And I think that's extremely appropriate. You know why? Because you have inspired me and all of these folks, your family, your friends, your teachers, your parents. With your artwork, hundreds of people are going to see it and they're going to be inspired just like the people are inspired when they sit in this very seat on this very stage. I think that's really cool. You think that's what? Oh, good. I'm glad you did. I was in trouble. We are going to recognize the top 100 finalists from all the art that has been uh, produced and, and, and uh, has been uh, done for the, the entries that have been received for the Picture of the Music uh, contest. 100 finalists. That means everybody is a winner. How many people are winners? We're going to give awards in various categories, and I'll explain those in just a minute. And as you already heard, we're doing it in two phases. So if you've been here years, uh, years after years and then in the past, uh, there'll be two different sessions. This one will kind of run through the first grade, and after they are, are finished, we'll get the, uh, the fourth through the sixth. Everyone's going to receive some sort of award. So if I skip your name, there's one of two problems. Number one, Grandpa, skip your name. Or number two, just wait, because you are going to get an award. Okay? Anybody nervous right now? Oh, don't be nervous. It's fun. Everybody stand up. Around the table, 
and go right back to your seat. All right? Is it bedtime yet? Oh, okay. Well, I'll hurry up. Okay. So, when they call your name, you know what to do, right? Audience, uh, can you help me out and not applaud until I make a very obvious gesture for a group of students, okay? Can you do that? Here we go. Here are the special recognition awards. That is, in the top 100 uh, in our uh, kid, grade kindergarten. So, here we go. From Gerald Elementary, Isabella Duncan. Oh, uh, I'm not explaining. Okay. <laughs> that phone is still there. Someone tell me the password and then I'll take it. Okay. London Walker from the Academy of the Sacred Heart. Hi, London. From Flint Hill Elementary, Max Marshenko. From Gerald Elementary, Dixie Schinkel. I think she's a little under the weather. And uh, from St. Paul Lutheran School, Lydia Whedon. Those are your kindergarten special recognition winners. Let's go to the first grade for a special recognition award from Gerald Elementary, Raven Bray. From St. Francis of Assisi, Amy Brooks. From St. John Paul II Prep School, Cecilia Kutchbeck. From the Montessori Workplace, Anna Riley. From Bowles Elementary, Brady Schmidt.
said these are not prorated, but um, what's the word? Uh, say again? Oh, but for sure. Uh, so we only have one kindergartner who is a Blue Ribbon Award winner from Gerald Elementary School, Kayla Pattis. There are a few more Blue Ribbon Award winners from the first grade. Here they are. From Bowles Elementary, Trip Bainan. From MD Elementary, Peyton Bellew. From Benton Grade School, Noah Rotram. Thank you. 